Do you want to learn how to make a flipbook for free? Well, check this out. I created this flipbook quickly and easily. It's got this cool page turning effect when users or viewers click once. And if you notice, you can hear the sound of each of the pages turning. So if you want to learn how to make a flipbook just like this, keep watching. Hey y'all, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to make a flipbook. The very tool you'll need to make a flipbook for free is called Flip HTML5. So I researched quite a number of flipbook kind of tools and websites and I come down to this one here because it's not only free, there is a little caveat which I'll explain later in this video, but it looks very professional and it gives you a ton of options to choose from when you are editing. Now on its free plan, you can upload up to five files per day and each file supports up to 500 pages each, which is quite a large sum. Now the caveat that I was mentioning before is that there will be a watermark and an ad down the bottom of your flipbook, which in my opinion doesn't really annoy you know the general viewer unless you are going to make flipbooks professionally right in that case you can always upgrade at a later stage so this is what viewers see and this is where the ad is at the moment there's no ad showing and this is kind of the watermark right at the top now you can't get rid of that but viewers can simply close that and there we go the flipbook is viewable right now to start making your flipbook, you need to first make sure you have your document ready. That is your content. And I recommend creating it in Canva or you could simply use Word to create your document. But if you are interested in making your document in Canva, I do have plenty of videos about that. Just look in the description box below to links to those. Essentially what you do is you design everything in Canva like this one right here. This is just one of the templates, save it as a PDF file and in your Flip HTML5 account, simply click on upload. And then this is where you can drag and drop your file. So it supports PDF files, PowerPoint files, PNG, JPEGs, and even Word files. You can simply browse or drag and drop it right here. And then you'll be taken to the editing mode where you can customize the book info. You can customize the design, such as general settings. You've got previous next button and a host of other options that you can enable, disable, things like that. So preloader settings. So you can even customize the text of the loading uh, display settings as well. You can also show a QR code. So for easy access, going down to even the slightest details such as the book margin. So you can even customize the margins uh, on the top margin, bottom margin, left and right. You can even go as far as customizing the toolbar settings. So a host of features right here. Customizing the theme is really easy. Go to themes and you get uh, quite a number of themes to choose from. So pre-made, uh, but however, some are for pro users only. So paid upgraded members. If you click on Metro, for instance, click on apply, that'll take effect. And you can see right now, there are changes to the color and the toolbar, as you can see. There are some presets as well, where you can choose the colors of the background. So let's choose this one here, which is the one I use in the demo. We've also got special effects for your background. So we've got fallen leaves. So if we want to choose that, we'll click on apply. And now we've got these fallen leaves effect going on. A couple of settings worth mentioning include page flip settings. So here you can change the flip mode so you can either change it to page flipping. You can do it standard mode or a slideshow. Uh, you can change the direction of the flip so you can go vertical or horizontal. There's also an option to display your page differently. So we've got different page modes. I'll choose double page and when I flip it, you'll see two pages now instead of a single page. This, however, may not look good on mobile since mobile is quite narrow. So you might want to just use a single page mode for that. And speaking of mobile devices, you can preview your flipbook on a number of devices. So we've got desktop here. Uh, we've also got tablet and you've got uh, mobile. This is what it looks like on mobile. If I click that, you'll see what I mean, where you've got double page and it doesn't look that great. It's actually hard to read. And once you're done customizing your flipbook, all you need to do is click on this copy button and that should give you the link to your flipbook for viewers to actually view. Now, a question you may have is, does your flipbook have to be hosted with Flip HTML5? Well, the answer to that is yes and no. You can host it with them if you want that page flipping effect. The reason why is because if you do download it as a PDF file, it won't have that page turning effect. So you'll see here, this is the PDF file that was saved. There's no page turning effect. It's just, just treats it as a normal PDF file. The alternative is to save it as a HTML file 
file. However, this is for pro members only. So if you do want to have that ability to have that page turn effect, but host it on your own website or server, then this is an option for you. And yes, you can also embed your flipbook on your website by going to share, going to embed on website, and then copying this iframe code and then pasting it wherever you want on your website. But that's how to make a flipbook for free. Whether you choose to upgrade for some of the extra features and the removal of the watermark and banner ad, you know, it's completely up to you and your purpose and your goals. If you simply want to share your flipbook to people who are just viewing it for free, perhaps some students, you know, it may not be uh, something that is going to be of a problem. Whereas if you are going to show and share your flipbook professionally, let's say you're a real estate agent and you want to share a brochure of a property, uh, then yeah, you definitely want to consider upgrading. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. Hope it was helpful and offered you a solution to creating a flipbook. In the meantime, I'll leave up a couple of other relevant videos right here.